Oh. Hey, what's happening? How you doing, bro? Good to see you. Oh, hey. What's up? Good to see you, buddy. Dude, my brother. How's it going? Another mother. Hey, how are you doing? Hot spot in my pocket. Oh, there you go. I'm not having to see you. Hot tent, man. Hot pocket. Hot pocket. <laughs> We're about to uh, get down on some of these boats. Maybe Marty will show us his boats. Sure, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. See what Pelican release. All right, we got like three boats here uh, that we're displaying um, that, that you guys have not seen before. There's a, um, a Catch-130, you've seen that already, but this is the smaller version of it, and I've already had it out there. I was actually making a wake on it because I was really pushing the pedals hard, and it goes pretty quick. Ooh. And it fits me better because I'm not a big guy. So I'm pretty excited about this. That's one thing that people tell me all the time. Marty's small. Yeah. So yeah, know. he's not that big. So when he's standing up dancing on circles on a 100, mm -hmm. you can't use that as a guide. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> that is, I mean, it is what it is. Some of the things that changed, they have a bigger rudder handle. Right and um, they've tweaked it a little bit. So the new boats are smoother. Of course, there's a learning curve with everything. And Pelican's really coming along. So um, their new uh, pedal drive boat, is uh, going to be a winner, I think. A lot of people are going to want a smaller pedal drive boat, and I don't blame them. Um, to come over here, this is another boat that um, I think is going to be pretty neat, especially from my perspective. When people come to my rental place and they just want to be on the water, uh, they're not fishing, they just want to go out and explore, this is perfect for them. It's a sit inside, and it's got a sit on top seat, so it's really, really comfortable. And because it's a sit inside, it has a low center of gravity, which makes it very stable, despite its small size, and it's very fast. I call it the uh, sports car. And this is probably gonna be one of the boats that I grab and go if I just wanna get on the water, because I don't have very far to go. So is this like a 100? Yes, this is a 10 foot boat. All right. And it's an Argo. This is the, the um, angler version, because it's got these. I kinda like the, uh, the hatch in the back instead of a tank well. Beautiful. And it has a bag too, so things don't get lost inside the boat. Right. I want to see more of these on the fronts of all of their boats. I right. think it's brilliant. Amen. Love that they went ahead and put the uh, rod hole, recessed rod holders. Yep. I think they're going to have this version in a regular kayak, and they're going to have an angler version. So it depends on what your uh, your deal is, you know. Um, so this. Is and the, there's the nothing boat. lighter, man. I've actually been playing with one of these in the yeah. canal behind my house. Oh, okay. And you can like pick it up with two fingers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I throw it in the water right here. I don't have to use the, the dock or anything. Right. Um, if it's after work, it's summertime, and you know you have a couple hours before sundown, you can just throw this in the truck, go, and be oh, fishing man. in no time. You don't have to get, get a seat and a paddle and a pedal or whatever. You know, it's just grab it and go. A lot of applications, man. If you were traveling far and you had a econo car, Mm -hmm. You could put it on top so Even easy. If let's say you don't have a lot of places to store your boat, because right. what do you do with it when you're not using it? Right. A lot of people don't realize that until they take it home from the store and they think, "Oh God." Have you ever met the guy from Real Local? Does the artwork in Tampa? Yeah. He got like a little balcony, and he can only have something that's less than ten foot. Wow. So that's what he's got. Yeah, his artwork is awesome. It's awesome, isn't it? Right? Hey, come check this out. All right. He's gonna show us some more stuff, folks. Yeah. One more boat that Pelican is um, showing off. Of course, it's the one that has a trolling motor bit built into it. Right on. I see one of them right there, that blue boat. Right Trolling there. motor ready, man. Yep, yep, yep. Seems to be I was the new watching thing. you leak it out minute by minute, you know, piece <laughs> by piece. <laughs> yeah, that's all they, they, they showed. They played it pretty close to the chest, you know? Right. This is actually going to suck. This is going to be good for people with both big boats like yours and they use them as a dinghy, kind of. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. What's neat about this boat is it's 38 inches across, so it makes it really, really stable. And uh, it's going to be now the most stable boat in Pelican's lineup. Come on. And they've had a hard time with some really big guys because of that, because their boats weren't that wide. But this one is going to fit the bill, I think, perfect. The, the seat's really nice. Um, it's, when you sit in it, it's like you're in a bathtub. You're going to have to try this thing out. Come on. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. going. All right. I'm going for cone, man. <laughs> I'm going for cone, Marty. Oh, look, I'm a, can I just jump in it? Absolutely. Yes, right. and there's a big cover up there. This is a prototype boat, so some of the things you see are going to change. I think the cover is going to be a little bit different when it finally comes out. Uh, the way this the seat slides is going to get tweaked a little bit. And um, just the overall shape of the hull is actually going to get tweaked. So it, it's close to what the final product is going to look like, but you got to take it with a grain of salt because this is brand new. It's a prototype boat. This is not what you're going to be able to buy in the stores. So, Marty, do I need to turn my hat around? <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, if you see somebody fishing, slow down and don't wake them up. Okay? <laughs> don't wake them up. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. All right, we gone. We gone. 
All right, so here I go. I got it at, I don't know, I'm like on, on turtle. There goes Trinx and Bob. You want to jump in? All right, I'm a turtle. Blue sky. That's probably, that's like a 20 maybe. I know that ain't, that ain't no 30. Uh, troll motor. But I'm wide open right now. Wide open. Did I just see a mullet jump? Look, it's a mullet. Something. Oh no, he's throwing a bait. Well, that freaked me out for a second. So this thing is super stable, super wide. Uh, I like all the rod holders in the back, man. Bad to the bone. I'm digging it. We ought, we ought to see if we can get Teresa in it. That'd be super cool. It's got some, you know, some some uh, rod holders, some uh, tracks. Put rod holders in. They got the battery up front for weight distribution. So I, I really want to thank Marty Zoffinger for uh, hooking us up with this boat. And uh, I, this is really a cool design. Bam! They didn't make that. That's just All right. Como se va? Ça va bien? Ça va bien? Et toi? Mon nom c'est Ty. Ty? Et toi? Frédéric. Frédéric? Yeah, Frédéric. The Pelican. Got to brush up. Ton maison dans un. Quebec? Uh, yeah, wait. The rive south of Rive Montreal. I see. Yeah, yeah. So they're saying on the south side of Quebec. 20, 20 minutes from uh, downtown Montreal. Oh, yeah. So this yeah. is the one. Yeah. So we're checking out the uh, the Pelican Power 100, which yeah. will be 10 foot. You got it. Yeah, exactly. 10 to 9, 9, 9. 9, 9. Yeah, we're, exactly. We're sent 10. So let's check out the khaki one. And, and it was smart to put the weight distribution with the battery up front. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, the, that's the key, honestly. We want to make sure that we don't have all the weight in the back so yeah we have the battery up front with all the wiring that goes uh, under the boat and mm -hmm. you're good to go after Possibly. that yeah Possibly. um so is is the target market fishermen or guys like using it for a dinghy or both or all or? I, I can say i would say it's both both yeah uh, frankly first fishermen mm -hmm. uh, what we've realized with the cat series the 100 and the 120 uh, a lot of people diy people were heading engine Mm. Uh, so we said, why not doing one boat is going to be perfect, a little bit water as well. So you just try it, it's a little bit more stable mm. with the tunnel haul, uh, haul that we do have as well. So that's a, that's a pretty boat for fishermen, but also for people that they just want to relax. And we're going to be coming in again in 2021 to 22 with also different type of boat like this. A little bit more for recreational use. So, the price point, what are we looking at? Uh, $12.99 US. $12.99. Correct. Yeah. For a motorboat, that, not too bad. Exactly. That's pretty bad. good. So I you have the, the you have the wheels in the back as well. So a lot easier. So we got wheels back here. Yep. Oh yeah. And a prob probably a more reinforced transom. Correct. Like, exactly. Yeah, a little thicker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice and nice and stout. Sliders boat that you can get in the market. It's uh, uh, low uh, low seventies. Car top it probably. Pounds. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, man. So if y'all are interested in any kind of a kayak with a motor, check out the new Catch. It's the what is the Power Series? Yeah. The Power Series. So Catch Power Hundred. There you go. Catch Power Hundred. Live from my cast. Well, we're not live, but you'll see this soon enough. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Enjoy. <laughs>